Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to create and save your own presets in Luminar Neo. Now, if you haven't used them before, the presets are kind of in the center up here. You have the catalog presets and then edit to edit the picture. So if we go into presets, uh, let me go back to the main presets here. It gives you th this list of presets that you can use. And uh, uh, we can go to any one of these depending on what we want and uh, for example let's go here and it gives us a bunch of different choices and the choices are kind of mixed up so some of them will actually have um, black and white and color profiles for them but they're generally made for like example landscapes or certain things uh, or their particular creative styles so like we could use any one of these by clicking on it there's a little heart over here if you favorite it it will end up in your favorites list so if there's one you like I suggest favoring it because there's so many of these uh, presets that it might be hard to find it later if you don't uh, so let's go back to the presets here and at the top you can see there's uh, favorites and uh, and uh, up here when we create a preset it will have our presets up here uh, so uh, you, we could start with any one of these presets and edit it, but we're going to just start from the beginning uh, to create a preset. So we're going to go to edit here. Now the thing to remember about when you create a preset is you want to create presets for things that you want to do frequently. Like for instance, you don't want to create a preset for something you're going to do just one time. But if you're going to do it over and over again, or if you it's, it's something or a task or, or settings that you use every time you might want to consider making a preset. The other thing is, is when you create a preset, you want to try not to do things that are photo specific. So uh, you, you may want to create a, a preset uh, separate from uh, making a lot of adjustments or on photos that don't need a lot of adjustments. Like if you, you you're uh, uh, messing with the shadows and the highlights on a particular photo a lot and it's not typical of your other photographs uh, if you make a preset in it then you'll end up messing with those dials more than you would if you didn't have the preset so something to consider with it ultimately you want kind of just the base thing that you want done in a preset and uh, mostly it's to save uh, a lot of the color settings that that m might be unique now even after you create a preset you might have to make some adjustments to certain photographs uh, afterwards uh, depending on what the preset is and what the photo is so let's create a preset here real quick I'm not gonna mess with any development or shadow detail any anything on this so I'm just gonna create I just want to create a uh, preset that I can use later preset I'm going to create is to convert to black and white. Uh, so we convert it to black and white there and I'm going to specialize something on here. Uh, I'm going to go to toning and I'm going to change the shadow. I'm going to go to to uh, saturation right there. And then I'm going to move it around. Let's see what we got over here. It might be We'll just go with that right now. I can also change, oh, I just did change the highlight detail. So let's change the shadow detail as well. Let's move that back over here. So we change the shadow and the highlight detail separately. All right, so say this is where we want it. Uh, now, now that we have our preset and everything set the way we want it to be set, we go down here to actions and it says save as preset. And so it has my preset up here. I can back up or backspace over this and I can go warm black and white. And I just hit enter and we've now saved the preset. Uh, the other nice thing about this is we can go here and if we decide we need to change something in the preset, uh, we can also edit it here. We can also delete it here as well. Uh, or we can rename it here. The other thing we can do is we there's a heart right here. So 
we sh we will ha have a separate section in our presets that say my presets, but you can also actually click on the heart and add it to your favorites as well. And if we go back to presets, uh, you can see it has my preset that's under favorites uh, right here. So that's how you uh, create and save a preset in uh, Luminar Neo. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.